any time you go watch a movie you might have seen this big beam of light shining through the back of the ceiling to in front of your screen and that's a projector movies have always been projected from the 1910s when like when film was invented and while projection movie projection has gone through a lot of evolutions like we went from film to digital we went from 2d to supporting 3d projections and also black and white to color that was a major one but the whole concept of projecting has still stayed the same and sometimes you might have wondered why don't they just convert these into like big tvs big displays and well samsung yeah that samsung did that and this is how it went Now Samsung apart from manufacturing smartphones and consumer appliances they also have a big stronghold on the display market. Now displays don't just include TVs or monitors but also those big giant LEDs and video walls you might have seen in airports or shopping malls. Now right around 2017 Samsung just thought why not just bring this uh, LED technology to movie theaters uh which they did and they branded it as Samsung Onyx. Now the thing about Onyx is that it's a very specialized technology and you won't find it everywhere. In fact, if you go to the countries page in Samsung's website, most countries only have one or two screens in the entire country. Uh but India has four and a fifth one in the making. So there are two of them in Delhi, one of them in Mumbai, and one in Bangalore which is the biggest one. Um and one in Hyderabad which is currently under construction and i personally have visited two of these one in delhi and the one in bangalore and i plan on visiting the third one in hyderabad as well one that's done constructing and samsung makes this bold claims about how it's like the next phase of you know movie exhibition theatrical exhibition and you know i don't buy that i mean of course they're going to market it but there's just one big problem with the entire technology which holds it back from being like the best movie going experience and i'll explain that i'll get to that but firstly let's understand what this entire technology is now the way video walls and these big led technologies work is that they don't come in a giant size they come in small pieces which you can put together and assemble into a giant tv So they sell these cabinets which are small enough and they are like low resolution monitors basically and you take these units and put 96 of them together in a grid and you get like a 33 feet wide screen which is kind of large and there's also another kind of a cabinet with a lower pixel density but you can put together 160 of those and get a 45 feet wide screen and a 45 feet wide is the largest Samsung Onyx unit you can get. So apart from the screen sizes and the dimensions, the rest of the specs are pretty standard and interesting as well. They're all 4K capable screens with an exact resolution of 4096 by 2160 which gives it an aspect ratio of roughly 1.9 to 1, which means that it's going to play scope and 4K flat content just fine without any problems. 3D in Samsung Onyx is a much more complex and interesting subject because well it's much easier to do 3D with conventional projectors because you might have a dual projection setup or a twin lens setup which will basically give uh, two different beams with different polarities one for each of your eye and the 3D glasses do the trick but you cannot do that with LED technology because you can't emit you know lights of different polarities from a single panel LEDs can't do that. So what they did back in 2011 2012 with 3D TVs they've applied the same thing to Onyx and that is active shutter technology. So if you suppose if you're watching a 3D 24 frames per second movie well Onyx is actually playing it at 48 frames per second because it needs to alternate one frame for it will be for your left eye then the next frame will be for your right eye and it goes on 48 times a second and the glasses are mechanical glasses too so whenever you see the left frame the right eye gets blocked 
and so on and so forth so it's a much more complex technology and much more expensive to implement but that's how they did it so yeah i haven't watched a 3d movie in onyx just yet but yeah that's how it works but yeah that was it for the tech specs but what is it how is it like to actually sit and watch a movie in an onyx theater so my first experience was last year in uh, dlf avenue saket in new delhi uh, it's a cinebolis owned theater the first thing i noticed was how sharp it was because it's 4k and they probably received a 4k dcp of the movie so th- that that was basically my first ever 4k theatrical experience and secondly how deep the blacks were now because it's an it's not like a big giant one unit display it's it's got 96 units it means they they can implement something called local dimming which is very common in big giant screen displays and also monitors the sound was okay there were probably like 16 or 17 surround speakers which is pretty decent um but the only thing which i noticed in negative light was how small the screen was it was obvious that it was a 33 feet model and it wasn't even covering the entire width of the auditorium wall so my next quest was like the next time in bangalore i'll visit swagat cinemas which is india's biggest onyx theater world's biggest onyx theater and um yeah i'll have to see how that experience is and i did go there and i watched pathan again um and well the world's biggest onyx cinema i realized is only 45 feet and 45 feet is kind of small because i have been to all these big screen theaters and the 45 feet onyx was just not cutting it for me and it was especially weird to see because swagat cinemas used to be like a single screen theater and by the looks of it the auditorium could easily fit like a 60 65 feet screen and there was just so much wasted space just around the onyx screen um just because a bigger model did not exist so yeah that was kind of disheartening but um but yeah the rest of the movie was fine as well pathan on 4k was it actually kind of made the film better for me uh but yeah that's basically it for onyx if samsung could somehow figure out a way to make like a 70 feet or even at least a 60 foot wide screen that would be amazing um because as even like doesn't it doesn't matter how sharp the image is or how bright the image is if it's not big enough if it's not immersive then it doesn't matter it it loses the whole point of theatrical exhibition and like projectors can do that and for now because projectors are the status quo it doesn't matter because how dark they are or how soft they are it's fine because they're normal and they can project up to like 100 feet wide depending upon the projector type so yeah onyx does have to catch up in terms of the size but apart from that i do see a lot of potential and i do see a lot of people getting that wow factor when they first uh, see a movie in onyx at least my parents did um So yeah that's basically it that's all i have to say about onyx samsung onyx and if you happen to live in one of these cities delhi mumbai or bangalore definitely uh, at least make sure to watch one movie over there uh, i i'm pretty sure you'll have a pretty good experience so yeah and also if you're in hyderabad like me there's a new one coming soon in amirpet and it's going to be owned by allu arjun or something like that uh, apparently but yeah Uh, that's basically it thank you so much for watching more videos coming soon and i'll catch you guys at the next one cheers